We are walking in the light, in the light, in the light. We are walking in the light, in the light of God. In the light, 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 in the light of God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and God bless you. We will begin with our unity statement of being, which is, and together, there, there is only one, one presence and one, one power active, active within, within me and throughout the universe. God, the, the good, omnipotent. The Unity Daily Word we focus on today comes to us from Sunday, September 28, 2018. And the word is, let go, let God. Our affirmation, I release fear-based reactions and allow infinite love to fill me. Each day brings new adventures in being. Keeping up with the schedule I compile for myself each morning could become a challenge as the day unfolds. Facing challenges and making choices are essential elements in fulfilling the purpose that brings me, a spiritual being, into human life form. Every loving choice represents another step toward the transformation of this world into the new dimension that Jesus Christ called the kingdom of heaven. Jesus also said, I can do nothing on my own, from John chapter 5 verse 30. And I remember those words as I face every challenge. I gently release fear-based thoughts and allow the infinite love within me to guide me to my highest good. Our scripture with this daily word comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not 
rely on your own insight. The word for today, let go, let God, and our affirmation, I release fear-based reactions and allow infinite love to fill me. I am now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed spirit. In thy divine wisdom, now erase my mortal limitations and from thy pure substance of love, bring into manifestation my world according to thy perfect law. From Proverbs chapter 3 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh, and strength to your bones. From the Revealing Word by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity. Wisdom. Worldly wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to use knowledge. Worldly wisdom is knowledge of worldly things with the ability to use them. Wisdom and divine understanding. These attributes come from the spirit of Christ within us. The price that we must pay for the conscious attainment of divine wisdom and understanding is the letting go of personal self with its limited beliefs. From Proverbs, Chapter 4, verse 23, above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. The King James Version, for out of it are the issues of life. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Reverend John. And good morning to everyone today. Good morning. Yes, our theme today is we're preparing lessons on prayer, all about prayer. So our theme today, we're going to start with our quote from Proverbs, which is, guard your heart, for out of it flow the issues of life. Again, guard your heart, for out of it flows the issues of life of life. And Michelle, we're going to start with something that uh, I recall uh, uh, being asked many, many times, which uh, is a simple uh, request, which is, why are you here? Ah, why are we here? <laughs> yes, as we start today, a simple little uh, comment or statement, why are you here? And it, uh, it brings to mind uh, a word which is called credo. Uh, what do you believe? What is your theme for your life? Why are you here? And as we prepare to uh, start and continue the lesson, we have a brief outline today. Uh, for example, the a simple a uh, answer is why are you here? We're going to start with the an I am statement. I am, which for many of us we know is our higher self. 
-hmm. or the Christ consciousness. And the Christ consciousness, as we're saying, I am here to uplift, help, and encourage. And Michelle, what do you think of those ideas? I think they're wonderful ideas, uplift, help, and encourage. But when we say our credo, it becomes a very personal statement. Why are you here? Why am I here? All right, great. And guard your heart, for out of it flow the issues of life. That's why, as I say, I am here. Mm -hmm. And from time to time, as we are uh, making that comment, sometimes I feel that with all of the issues, uh, for example, that's a that's almost a slang or a cliche today with our music culture and with our social networking culture to uh, think in terms of uh, what are the issues that you're facing with today? Well, we may be facing the issues of what's going on in the world. Those are issues. And that's something we're looking to address. And are we looking to what's going on, what others are doing, what the world is doing? Are those the issues we're looking to, or are they personal issues to be dealt with by the Christ within? And certainly in our past lessons, we have affirmed and declared that we are spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are body and mind, but we're also spirit. And for many of us, we affirm that we are spirit, mind, and body. So it's the emphasis that we're saying is different. And also, uh, I was saying that uh, out of the issues uh, flow our, our lives, uh, out of our heart. And so sometimes I, sometimes I say with all of the things that are going on in the world around us, that we can actually become hijacked yes. if we put the emphasis on all around us, the environment. Uh, the people that call us from day to day uh, call upon us to get involved in conversations about really uh, what their issues are. Uh, as I have uh, mentioned in the past, and as we were talking about Solomon, uh, Solomon who prayed for wisdom mm -hmm. and understanding and did not pray for silver and gold. What are we praying for today and this week? And Michelle, I think we received even a letter in the mail talking about something about a stimulus check. And I thought, well, how does that impact us? Mm -hmm. How does this impact our neighbors and our friends? And where is the focus? Now, again, we're being non-judgmental about that. But uh, again, uh, what are my concerns as I pray for guidance, as I pray for direction? as you pray for guidance and you pray for direction, but there are others around us who are also uh, in, in this life and in, and in this experience with us also. Yes, and we, we keep emphasizing the I am, how we make the decisions of what those issues might be. What might, as Reverend John mentioned, that there are, we may receive information from others um, talking about what their issues are. Do we, in our own consciousness, in our own belief, want to embrace that? We're not saying we shouldn't embrace it. We're just saying, take the time to sit down. Okay. I take the time to sit down and look at all the information that comes to me and decide what I want to focus myself on. And I look for spiritual direction mm -hmm. and pray about what I'm going to give my focus to. Because if we try to give our focus to too many issues and others' issues, we find ourselves in a stressful, or a very we can anxious place. Dissipate our own energy. Yes, dissipate and, our own energy. And intention, mm -hmm. and intention also. Now, we did have an, an, an earlier scripture, which was trust in the Lord. I trust in the Lord, or the I am is trusting in the Lord. By the way, that is not saying that I, I do have uh, from time to time conversations with. Uh, my social network and sometimes uh, I have folks who comment and they say well of course you're a minister or you're you're the preacher guy or preacher person and those are your concerns but again our scripture is I mean who do you trust or what do you trust in and as I continue 
uh, I need guidance. I'm going to say I need guidance. I started with the uh, I am here to uplift, help, and encourage. And as I move forward in that declaration and affirmation, I need guidance, not from a conscious level, I'm going to say, Michelle, but certainly I need guidance from the super conscious mind or the higher self. And many of us say the Christ mind. Mm -hmm. I need guidance. Therefore, I pray, and I'm going to put it this way, not to those collective thoughts around me, uh, not to those Charles Fillmore uses the term error thinking mm -hmm. or error thoughts. Now we used the, an example, uh, the, the peeps, the Easter peeps, uh, for example, those Easter ideas and those people around us as we are looking to the week ahead. That guidance comes from above. That guidance comes from above. It came from above with Solomon in our Old Testament example last week and with uh, our Wayne Dyer comment. So what in your past is holding you back? I think going back to the very beginning when you started, why are you here? Why are, why is anyone here? What, what have, how do you make that decision? And uh, Reverend John, you mentioned at the beginning, a credo, a set of beliefs. And so I think it's important to sit down and decide what that credo is, what beliefs you hold. And that helps as an outline, a structure, as we're praying for guidance. It helps our direction, too. Yes. Our direction yes. in life and mm -hmm. what we will um, assist with and help with and in our own lives and in our own decisions. But certainly, overall, there are, there are a lot of distractions that are going on. There, there's a lot. I had mentioned social media uh, that is going on and lots of discussions about what this person is doing as the celebrities, mm -hmm. for example, and even uh, those in ministry uh, as well. And those who are caregivers, mm -hmm. right. Michelle, now with the caregivers background mm -hmm. and being um, the director of your help community, mm -hmm. the senior community. There are a lot of concerns right now about helping yes. the seniors. Uh, we have, uh, we still continue with our COVID uh, situation that is going on. And so we're here again. I am here as we move into our summary today. Guard your heart for out of it flow the issues of life. Why are you here? We started with our question and we, uh, point number one, I am here to uplift, to help and to encourage. That's why I'm here. And we take a deep breath. I seek guidance. Similarly, uh, as we have the Old Testament example of Solomon who needed guidance rather than uh, Right away, think in terms of silver and gold, right in terms of thinking of the, the solution to all my problems is the government stimulus check. But uh, Solomon prayed for wisdom and understanding. And as we move into the week ahead again, we're going to again say that our Jesus, who was experiencing some profound decisions, yes. also went into prayer. And then finally, because I am here to uplift and to encourage, we're focusing on the need for guidance. And maybe um, some of you don't need that need for guidance. Michelle? Well, once again, I'll, as we're summarizing, I go back to the statement of the credo. If we set down our list of beliefs, set down what we hold dear and value, then as we move forward mm -hmm. into making a decision of why am I here, then we have that guidance. We know we can fall back on that and say, ah, this is what I truly believe. So I pray around that issue rather than the issue of others that are out there distracting me. Very good. So as we move forward again, our prayer is that you are blessed and you are receiving this 
as a blessing today. And again, not being distracted uh, by other folks' issues or concerns or problems, but as we move forward, we move forward with the spirit of knowing that God is with us. So my favorite prayer was at one time, it is God's will that you prosper and grow and be in health and be at ease and move forward to enjoy life. And that is our prayer today and our focus. We say, thank you, God. 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 Thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you feel so led, please send a donation to the address at the end of our lesson. Thank you and have a blessed day. As we move into our time of prayer and meditation, Michelle, we're going to ask uh, our pastoral nurse, Michelle Washington, RN, to lead us in a time of meaningful and prayerful breath and breath exercises. And so I'm going to have, uh, again, Michelle, we're going to ask you to lead us in breath today. Thank you. All right, let's take a moment and just become settled right where you are. Today we're going to do the three breath exercise, that being our physical, our mental, and our spiritual breath. And as we prepare, prepare for that, we ask just to become comfortable right where you are, right where you're sitting. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. And we'll start with a physical breath. And this breath is meant to release stress, release strain, release ah those things that are holding us in a tense place. So let's take that breath first. Take a deep breath in. Hold it for just a few seconds. And release. And as we release that breath, allowing ourselves to release any tension in our limbs, any place in our body. Fully relax. Fully relax the body. Yes. And then just for a moment, sit with that. And then take in a breath. This is going to be our mental breath. That breath that prepares us to align with our spiritual intention. But first we need to clear anything mentally that may be blocking us from that. So let's take a deep breath in, seeing that as a mental release. Take a brief, deep, deep breath yes. in. Yes. Hold that for just a second. And as we release that breath, see anything that may be blocking us from our spiritual intention flowing out from us. And now we move into our spiritual breath, that breath that allows us to connect with our higher self. Yes. And we take that breath in, and as we release that, we're going to release that with a full vocal, allowing ourselves to say in many languages the name of God. Ah, so let's take that deep breath in. Hold that for just a moment. Feel it moving through our lungs, our body, and release. Uh, and yes, and we say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for holy healing breath. Thank you, God, for this, this awakening moment of knowing that God is guiding us and instructing us and uplifting us right now as we move forward now in a deeper and a deepening prayer, time of prayer and meditation. And we say, thank you, God, for this holy and peaceful and restful moment of prayer and meditation as we move forward into the stillness, into the silence.
And let us close today with our Prayer for Protection by James Dillett Freeman. Together, the, the light, light of, of God, God surrounds us. us. The, the love, love of God, God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Our offertory blessing today, together. Divine love, through me, blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive. I praise, give thanks, and am glad. Thank you, God. Thank you, God.
The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word. Website, dailyword.com.